Uh, how do you become a rapper? Um, I, that's a tough question. Every time I get asked that question, because I feel like I start. I was always in love with music. I love music since I was a kid. I grew up. I feel like I always had a whole bunch of different cultures in the crib. You've been at the crib, so you know, like. Our older sisters, they bumping reggae music. Our older yeah. brothers is bumping rap music. You feel me? Our moms is bumping Haitian music. So I was like able to, I was listening to all that, all those different type of genres of music. And then I just, I just love the sound of it. Like my sister, she had like a, a MacBook one time. And I remember I was like on the garage band, fucking with the garage band, making beats. They were mm -hmm. trash, but like, you feel yeah. me? I just remember like I was always into music. I always loved music. So I feel like I got to high school. I was just always trying to be on top of like every new song and just be the first one to have the new song. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I was on the DJ, little DJ thing. I was just trying to make sure I'm playing everybody on to the new tracks. And then I feel like freshman, like end of senior year, going into my college freshman year, like around freshman year, sophomore year, that's when I like first got into the studio. I don't remember if it was freshman year going to sophomore year or just like, or just like a freshman in college. I don't remember. But I hit the studio. I didn't really tell nobody that I was hitting the studio. I just wanted to see how it <laughs> sounded, you feel me? But I went in, and that shit kind of sounded fire. So then I started playing it for a couple people. People were like, yo, this shit kind of fire. Like, who's this? Like, you know? And I'm like, yeah. okay, okay. And I'm like, if I'm going to do this, I got to, like, do it. You feel me? I can't just, like, be rapping a little bit. Like, I made, like, a vibe in my head. Like, one day, I'm just like, All right, I'm going to do this shit, like, lock in. So those first songs that I recorded, first two songs that I recorded, I mm -hmm. immediately hit out hit up a videographer so he could shoot the video and then after I dropped it I was like I'm a rapper like I'm I'm in this you feel me at yeah. first like you saying that you had at first it don't seem like that cuz you know not a lot of traction going on people still getting to know you so like the first like 2 years was really just me like in the gym I caught a gym the studio I'm like in the studio all the time like whatever the case if, however I could get in the studio I'm just in the studio in the studio in the studio I was also yeah. hooping remember so yeah I was like balancing playing basketball in college and coming back and trying to do this music thing. I really don't know what like is keeping me going throughout this whole thing. I, I definitely think it's God, but like like I just love music. So I just always just stuck with it till now. So Okay. What would you say like is a defining thing for somebody? What what would you give the stamp of like, yo, he's actually a rapper? So like cause anybody could pick up a mic and be like, yo, I'm a rapper, exactly. but it's like you only made one song does it, you wouldn't be like nah he's not a rapper though that's true cause it's like it's disrespectful to your craft it's, it's the same thing with like comedians it's like I could go on stage one time but it's like you're, you're bro you're not right. a comedian I would like, say it's the consistency like you were saying in the beginning like if you're consistently doing something and putting in those hours mm -hmm. I feel like you could call yourself that you get what I'm saying okay but if you're just like off and on and not really taking shit serious and it's just a joke for you then I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. I don't like when people even be saying like, "Oh, you're a rapper or you're this." I'm, I feel like I'm a musician and I'm an artist. You feel me? I yeah, like to keep okay. it more broad because I don't just rap. I, I, you know, I got all different types of music, and I'd like to hop in a bunch of different type of genres. So, I would just say like your your dedication to it depends. Like, can clarify if if that's what you are or not. Okay, so you gotta be consistent with it. Um, yeah. How do you get your music on streaming services? Um, how does that work? Yeah, so basically, how do you even get paid as a rapper? Let's right. start. Let's start. Saying, how do you get paid as a rapper, you. bro? <laughs> I got, got you. Questions. So basically, not everybody gets paid, like you know, and you know, I'm not making the the most amount of money either. But you know, something's coming in. Yeah, so I, I, okay. I care for it. something's coming in for sure every month. But basically, you hit the studio, you make a song. You know, it depends if you get your beat off of YouTube or if you get somebody to make the beat. So let's say you're a producer, you're a producer, I'm the rapper, right? Mm -hmm. You two make the beat, right? And say like, yo, Chiz, either y'all can sell me the beat or we could just do splits on like TuneCore. TuneCore is like a streaming service where you upload your song so it could get onto all streaming platforms, right? Okay. In TuneCore, you could do like, I get 50% of the song, you get 25%, you get 25%. So however much is streamed, that's how much the split is. You get what I'm saying? Got you. Nah. You don't understand what I'm saying? Nah. All right, so basically, nah, all right, so, all right, you two made the beat. I record the song, right? Okay. Now we got a song, all three of us. Yeah. You're the producer, you're the producer. Normally, i probably do like 50%, 25%, 25%, obviously, okay. right? I get 50% as like a songwriter. You get 25% as a producer. You get 25% as a producer, right? Okay. Let's say a million people stream our song and we make like 10,000 bucks. We split that 10,000. Gotcha. You get 50% of that 10,000. You get 25%. You get 25%. Okay. 
but like people have to be streaming your songs for you yeah, to get, of course. you know, for you to get that money for you to, you know, but streaming is tough. Like Apple Music, a million streams is like 10,000 bucks, maybe, I think. A million streams, 10,000? It's, it's the, God, the percentage is like crazy. Yeah, so in order you for you to make viral. some decent money, you got to go viral, get 100 million streams, like all the time, every drop. You feel yeah. me? So gotcha. it's really like most, most artists make their money off like, you know, touring and performing here or like other endorsement deals they got mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But like streaming, like if you think you're just going to stream and make money, it's slow for real. Yeah. Unless you're like Drake, 21 Savage. <laughs> One of the big, you know, back, like back, The back. Weeknd, Taylor Swift, like their yeah. streaming is crazy. But then again, they have to split their shit a thousand different ways as uh, well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. What's the um, percentage what, that they take? What do you mean? Like the streaming services. Because like for YouTube, they'll, when they pay you, they take 30%, and then you keep the rest, and then you got to pay taxes on the 70% that they give you. I don't you. know that exact the, number for sure, but I do know, like, you make a certain percent based on your streams, like... Okay. Oh, so you don't know if they take a part of that, like... That. Some of them they, don't. They, some, some, some services don't take that money out. Some services do, like... It depends. I don't... The, the one I got, I don't think, like, I really get money taken off. Like, a like a tax type situation. Yeah, yeah. like, they charge you a fee for being on their platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to pay. Yeah. But once you make... Like, you have to pay music to... You have to pay them to drop your music. You know what I'm saying? So, gotcha. if I want to upload a song, it's going to cost, like, $10. Oh, upload okay. an album, cost $40. Oh, gotcha. shit. But I'm at the point where I made enough money where I don't even, like, have to pay to upload no music. Yeah, you you're know what making saying? money off the music. Gotcha. So, the, you're just reinvesting so it's just, it. Exactly. Okay. So, that's how it works. Got you. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. I thought it was free. No, 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 nah? no. No, oh. you want to drop a single that's ten bucks, and you got to renew it every year. You got. Uh, oh. So is that how they're making their money? Then? I mean, I guess because they they putting if your you, stuff out if there. You though. Don't renew the single; mm-hmm. they take it down. For real? What? Yo, this whole time I thought it was free. That's what happened. One of my one of my albums. It was on like one of my old cards, and I switched cards, so I didn't make a payment. They took the whole album down. For real? Now, everybody keep asking for the album. I'm like, what album? I is got it? it's the um. Uh, at your own risk, the purple one. The, nah, va- I don't know the that vacations one. on there. You know, vac- I, that I know vac- vacations. Yeah, vaca- I don't know vacations that the, on. With a purple at cover? your own risk. Nah, it's I don't like, know that one. It's like a. Um, it got some tracks on there, bro. But people probably forgot it now. But people really be hitting me up sometimes. Yeah. Like, Yo, you gotta put this shit back. Are you gonna put it back? Yeah, I'm gonna put it back. Uh, up. Hey, he I'm said it on camera. He gonna put it back. Put it back. I'm gonna put it back up. Because Carl was telling me the same thing. He was like, "Yo, there's a track on there." He was saying. There's a track that got yeah, taken down. Yeah, people be saying they can't find it. Like, yeah, Yo, where is it? Where is he's it? tight about that. He was telling me that a few weeks ago. He but was it, tight. It's like it's a lot of work to upload a song. It's not. It, you feel me? You gotta get the song right. Then you gotta like put it on this service. Then you gotta get the lyrics. If mm-hmm. there's lyrics, like sometimes I don't be writing my lyrics down, so I gotta create lyrics to put up there. Oh, for God. real? Wait for the song to download. It's a, it's a process. Damn, I didn't oh, imagine that. if you got an album with like 18 songs. You got to upload that's that's you have to upload them individually. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? Make so sure it's it, the right one. You do it yourself. You don't have somebody else doing no, it. No, no. I, I do it. I upload my music myself. Gotcha, you feel gotcha. me? But other people, they got like managers or whatever yeah. the case may be. Mm-hmm. If they're with a label, they upload their music. But I do it myself. Like Yeah, so you're independent. Yeah, 100% okay. independent. Yeah. How do you like find gigs? You find it yourself to do most you of the time people are just reaching out to me because like by now in my career like obviously we're, we're trying to we're trying to keep progressing you feel me take things higher but i feel like i'm locally and like in the city i feel like i'm at a good point where like people are reaching out to me to come do their shows and right. well, i do my shows myself you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. you got a show you got a you dropping a show somewhere i did a show um a couple weeks ago so every every summer, like every August, I, I headline my own show. I mean, I put it together. I get the artists to come on the show gotcha. and everything, and then I perform at the end. Mm-hmm. And it's been, it's been going well. I'm not going to lie. I'm like you three for three so far. Yeah. Hey, nice. Yeah. Next year, I'm I went coming. to two of them. I didn't go to this last yeah, one. Yeah, you didn't come to the last one, but you went to the previous two yeah, ones yeah, I had yeah. in August. I, I, I yeah. put up, bro. You got to no, tell you. He don't be telling you. He's nah, telling you. bro. He ain't going to be telling you. He's like that. Bro, he ain't going to tell you. last minute, though. He told me one song that I had to buy, though. He be giving me a good heads up, actually. Yeah. Yeah, there was a song I showed you that you was bumping on. That's what was fine. That's what was I'm saying, like, it was... It was a few years ago. He yeah. was only listening to church music. <laughs> and I played your shit. He was like, yo, this is hot. Yeah, <laughs> he played it all the time. Okay. <laughs> that's what's up, bro. He only listened to church music <laughs> up, before bro. that. 
He was trying to get me to listen to church music. It was like, see, he had, there was some rappers that he had that was like, oh, this is fire. Yeah. When I showed him your song, he was just like, oh, this is hot. Yeah. So you're probably like the reason why he doesn't listen to yeah. only church music. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's just fine. I'm not lying to you. Yeah, when I heard it, the, it's like the vocals and everything. Like, it's like it sounds right. You feel sound me? Chris Clean. Yeah, because like, I'm a musician. You feel me? I okay, play keyboard and stuff. You do? Oh, yeah. we got a chat, bro. Yeah. I be doing a lot of bands, bro. Bro, put me so, on, bro. bro. I, if you I come mean, through the keys, we can yeah. work something. Hell yeah, I'm like, you uh, yeah, I, See, you don't be telling He's me stuff nothing, like bro. This, man. But yeah, but I heard he it. He only <laughs> does church <laughs> stuff, bro. He, whoa, if you're a musician, Sammy, you're a musician. Like, okay. Just because you only listen to church music yeah. don't mean that's yeah, all you can yeah, play or that's yeah, all you can understand. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. musician is like fluid, bro. Like, once you hear something, it's like an air. Once yes, you're for it, you can really play anything or listen to anything. Yep. It's like that, so... But yeah, that's just it sounded good. I, all I heard was the the chorus, bro. That shit was catchy as hell. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Put me into the whole album. But you that, I, I don't think you had an album at that at that time. Nah, not yet. Nah, nah I don't think so. Damn. Dude, I'm telling you, it was really yeah, early, early on, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah he I was like, yo, this like, is fire, bro. The beginning stages of when I was doing yeah. this. Shit. Yeah. That's how do you so um? Well, how do you? Could you explain to people the process in the early stages of like becoming a rapper? Because I remember being with you. It was like, yo, this. Bro, he's spending mad bread, bro, it's, and it's, they try to make it look like yo, every rapper yeah, is just making yo, money out the gate. Not like Could that, you bro. explain to them like, These yo, you can become a rapper fooled. if you want, yeah, just bro. know you're not gonna be making bread yeah, for I'll a be while. Saying, like, yo, if I didn't rap, bro, I'd be up. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I spend so much money on like hitting the studio, recording the video, all that. You feel yeah. me? Like, it's a lot. Like, especially when you're doing it dolo by yourself. Like, you got to be real with yourself. You know, mm-hmm. so. It's definitely not easy becoming a rapper or being a rapper. It's a, it's a big investment. You have to spend a lot of money. You got to get yeah. to places. You got to get fly. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like you got to you gotta pay certain people to do certain things, shoot your videos, record your music. Or, you know, you need locations to do things. You got to pay for that. Like, yeah. it's, it's a lot, bro. So that, a so, whole bunch of expenses, you guys. Like, that's a lot of expenses. He yeah. just mentioned a lot. I can't even remember the whole list of yeah. things that he and, said. And then, and then he you said studio, studio like, like, right? So you, you're awesome. spending that. Like, yep. Yeah. Often. Yeah, crazy. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's crazy. So. And the studio is um is it still a minimum of three hours and then they have a set price? Yeah, some studios do that. My studio, I be there. I, I try to be in the studio no less than four hours. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you're in there for two hours. Unless you already got what you're gonna do, you could be in there for two hours and just knock it out real quick. But some most of the, like these days for the past like couple months, I haven't been coming to the studio with like stuff written down. I've just been cooking up at the studio. Like as soon as I pull up, like. My engineer, we start making a beat, and I just make the song out of scratch like that. Instead of like having a beat, showing up, pulling up the beat, I already wrote, wrote to right. it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do things more like, what's that word I'm looking for? More organically, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I do. like it's cool to like listen to a beat, write it down. But I figure you get the best stuff when you just like listen to it at that moment. The first thing that come out of you, I feel like that's the most organic thing and the the best stuff you get. Got so. You. So you li- you listen to the beat like on your way over there, and then you're just like, oh, nah, like once you get there, once I get there, we're once making the beat. So I don't oh, even know what the beat lit. sound like. We're just okay. making the beat like literally drums, scratch, yeah, me. drums, and he throw the melody on, and he throw other ins- like he's mm-hmm. playing them out and making the beat like on the spot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, and I could actually advocate not for that process, but I've seen him freestyle, oh, yeah, giving yeah. words like <laughs> while he's rapping. That yeah. Is crazy. yeah, it's insane, Yo. bro. Yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, yo, it's, it's, it's hard, insane. Though. If you see, you be like, yo, how does somebody like on beat and you just be like, yo, I don't know, chicken. And he'll start <laughs> rapping about chicken. Be like, yo, yeah, bro. Um, computers. Like and he you can start Harry rapping Mac. about no, he's, computers. He's, he's like, OD. Harry Mack He's OD. I, I see him do it. I'll be like, is that real? The Harry Matt? He's OD. Like, there be days when you be on it, like, okay, I'm, I'm, I feel it. But there be days where it's like, but I don't feel like freestyle. Every, I got it. You every know? day, bro. He, he walk on the beach. And yeah, then, uh, yeah, I've seen this video. Yo, bro. They, they, yeah. he's, he's it's just kind of crazy. Could you talk about the environment at a studio? Because I feel like every environment's different. Yeah. Yeah, and we've been to the studio. <laughs> I've been to studios with you. I was like, yo, it I don't know if I'm coming back, bro. So, yeah, some people, it's not for everybody. I'm telling you, bro. Studio's not for everybody, bro. Like, he pull up to the studio and fall asleep. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, just not, to, there's a lot of smoking going on, it's drinking terrible, going on. He'd come to the studio and be knocked on the couch. You feel me? But... Like, hey, to be fair, to be fair, it was Labor Day weekend, <laughs> and my birthday's around that time. Yeah, he was faded. So oh, it was the whole week. We the studio, yeah, right? so, so the whole time, that shit was jumping we were up. just drinking. Yeah, he was sleeping. So when I'm in the studio, I'm just like, like he's rapping. There, I'm just like. He was in there for like four hours only, too. He was not. He was in there for like Bro. four hours. He was not. Yo. He woke up like. 
This shit's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, cause is that the is that when you you didn't record Fenty over there? Nah, I didn't record Fenty. Okay, that's that's, that's my that's top top three for favorite Fenty's songs. Fenty's tough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but nah, we were drinking a lot. But Labor Day weekend, the yeah, dude was just was the guy. The, was it the producer? He was just acting like he was just a super tough guy. There was like, all right, bro, this yeah. is, <laughs> you're making yeah. this mad uncomfortable and awkward. To be <laughs> was in. it his studio though? Yeah, it was his studio. Ah, okay. and we're not from here, so you know they probably like on edge about certain shit, yeah. but. Yeah, it was, it was not it. I know the Boston one. I went with you to the Boston one. It was like mad people there. And I was just like, yeah, yeah studios is not say. my thing, bro. Like, like back in, like, you know, previously I used to have like a whole bunch of people pull up to the studio, you know, be like, you know, emulate like a party just to get the vibes and shit, you know. Right. But now, nowadays, I'll be in the studio dolo. Probably me and one other artist or me and just the producer and the mm-hmm. engineer. But like, I really don't be having too many people in the studio these days because I feel more comfortable recording songs and doing whatever the fuck I want. Mm-hmm. If I'm in there by myself and I don't feel like somebody else is in there, like, nah, that's just kind of whack. Because, I mean, admit it or not, like, you feel me? That's always a thought in the back of your head when you're in the studio recording. Like, yeah. damn, do they think it's just fire or yeah. do they think this just whack? That. You feel me? But if you don't have nobody there, it's just you. You're just like, shit, it's just hard to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? You're just more confident. So I, I try to keep as less people as I can in the studio. Unless people really be like, yo, I want to come to the studio, bro. And I'll be like, all right, pull up. Mm-hmm. But if you if you're gonna and I got a rule if you don't come to the studio you can't just be on some I'm gonna chill I'm gonna sleep you gotta really like nah I like this I don't so like there's this no way I'm you know going. don't talk too much but also you know give your input a little bit you know what yeah. I'm saying like be a good studio guest okay <laughs> yeah there was the person didn't come with you but they were on straight demon time and I was yeah. like I ain't coming back yeah. bro <laughs> I am not coming you back you gonna be the whole was, you gonna be the whole array of people at the studio you gonna yeah. be niggas in the streets you gonna be somebody who Go to Berkeley College of Music. I be in the studio. I be with everybody. You know, yeah, I be with a whole bunch of that's different what's up. type of people, bro. Um, what's your favorite song that you've made? Damn, I can't answer that question. Nah, <laughs> nah, dude. I don't have a favorite song that I've made, bro. Shit. There's so many songs that I've created, bro. I just love, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's songs I like more than others, but like, I can't pick like a favorite one. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I'm like, what five albums in? Okay. Jeez. I got a lot of music, bro. You don't got a favorite album? I think my last album is my favorite album. Okay. What's Range the name God. of it? Range God. Range my favorite album, man. Go go stream Range God now, man. Out now. Chiz Capo, C H I Z Z space C A P O. Range God. Mr. Range God. Will how you, many how many um oh go ahead? Would you say it's easier now to like to produce a music than Hell music? yeah. Yeah. I feel like at first when I first started doing music, it wasn't hard, but like I go back and listen to some of the shit I recorded, I'm like, this is terrible like and you be thinking like i used to really think i was like nice or but like you could just see like that's what consistency does bro like yeah. if you're in the studio all the time every week i used to be in the studio so frequent bro like mm-hmm. and there'd be times i go to the studio record some bullshit every time i go to the studio record some nice shit but like overall i feel like you said push it over My yeah floor. slide over a little bit right. it's smooth. so it's not covered Yeah, that's better. Yeah, so overall, I just feel like, you know, you're never going to be making your hardest. You're never going to show up to the studio and make something fire every time. You know what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Right. Like It'd be like ups and downs to it and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, I do not think I got a favorite song. I think that's the question we was on. Right? Yeah, yeah, favorite song, favorite album. Oh, favorite album. Yeah, Range God. Yeah. Range, okay. But that one is, I feel like it's one of my favorite albums because I really did that album for me, like. Like, that album was designed to just basically show, like, my listeners and consumers, like, I got range. Like, I could I could rap, or I could get on some island shit, I could get on some R&B shit, yeah. I could get on some melodic gotcha. shit, you know? So, it's a whole bunch of different type of vibes on there, so they don't try to box me in as, oh, you're just a rapper. Like, I do a lot of different type of vibes. Open-minded. You know? And I don't mm-hmm. feel like, Sweet. personally, I feel like, you know, when it comes to, like, being able to hop in them different bags and pockets, I don't think nobody's fucking with me. <laughs> Straight up, Word. beat selection, Gotta have that all that, you know. Man, yeah. Which um genre is your best? Or your favorite? You would you rather do like? It, it depends my mood. Like sometimes okay. I be coming in, I just be like, I want to rap today. Like sometimes I be coming, in, I'm like, I'm trying to be like on some melodic different shit. Like I'm always just trying to do some different shit. Like just switch it up. You know what I'm saying? I want I like to do music where people listen to it and they're like. I've never heard something like this before. This is different. You know, it makes you be like, who's this? Or mm-hmm. yeah, raise an eyebrow. You know, a lot of music you listen to is like, oh, that's cool. I want you to hear my, my music, hear the beat, and hear what I'm doing. Be like, 
what's this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's like, I don't love it, but it's like, it's different. Like, what is this? Makes you move. It, it, it evokes something out of you, some yeah, type yeah. of emotion. So, that's yeah, just Yeah, bar for bar, about. you are the best rapper in Boston. Like, I appreciate that, bro. There's no bias towards <laughs> I, I mean, there's, there's yeah. bias because I know him, but like, you know I mean? I agree. I've heard other rappers, you'd be like, eh. Because I like bars. Like, I'll listen yeah, he, to a he chorus. He only like Just bars. no <laughs> hook, no chorus, just you just dropping bars. Yeah. Yeah, it's like other people in Boston, like, yeah, it's it's all right. Some people are just like you're not even rapping on beat, but he'll be on beat. And it's like straight bars. If he does like um, like a three a.m. in High Park type thing oh, or three a.m. in Boston, yeah. it'll be like straight bars. You're like, oh yeah, this was he got he got that. That's fact. He got that, that was for old. Fact. That was I was yeah. like the first. That was like probably one of the first ten songs I recorded. Mm-hmm. So you you love that shit like that, and that was one of the first ten songs I recorded. You feel me? And I'll go back and listen to shit like that. I'm like, yo, this is so trash. For him, I swear like, to God, I, I, that song popped up on my um, in my car the other day. I'm like, this song is terrible. Like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> like for real, like the vocals, everything I'm saying, I'm like, it's terrible. I've grown yeah. so much, bro, from there. Yeah, like, you know, it's crazy. You're like, yo, I body that rapping now, man. <laughs> yeah. Now, now it's different. Now I'm, I be saying some shit, like you yeah. know. So, shit, I take it back then, man. Yo, fuck that two a.m. Yeah, the high park song, fuck bro. It. Yo, I just saying it ain't as you know. Yeah, how long is um range got? I feel like how I many got tracks? Like 16, 17 songs on there, maybe. Okay. What's the length? Is Solid. it still? Um, I don't make hour? long songs. Okay, so it's definitely under an hour, like forty something minutes. Okay, so most of my songs be like two minutes. Like people's attention span is so short and so long yeah. alright so that's on purpose then that so, y'all yeah. every rapper is like yo let's Doing just do two songs. minutes yeah. you know, and it's like TikTok is popping off so you ain't listening to the whole song Fact. anymore mm-hmm. you listen to like a portion of it yeah so how do you um pick what goes on the album that's a good question uh, with me because I was trying to do something like Range Guard and choose different type of songs I was like every time I showed up to the studio I was just recording it People be in a vibe. I record a different type of song. Like, I record a rap song. I record, like, R&B song. I record, like, a, a reggae song, maybe, or something like that. And I was just trying to pick the best ones. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I play them with my peoples. Whatever had the most reactions. Okay. That's the ones I was really choosing to go on the album. Okay. And some of the songs I had for, like, a year or two, like, I record a lot of music. So, some songs I'd be like, I got to hold this for the perfect time. Mm-hmm. You know? So. How do you market them? Um, you usually, mark, do you market songs specifically or albums? I feel like I do both. You know, when you're marketing a song, you're obviously marketing an album because the song is on the album. Yeah, so. they got you. But I try to do like a lot. I try to do like live bands. I'm doing music videos. I'm doing my performances. I'm doing like online presence stuff, TikTok stuff, you know, a lot mm-hmm. of the, the usual stuff. Just hoping I can make something that really stick, you feel me, for people to like really tap in, tap in. Because mm-hmm. right now I feel like I'm still at a point where I'm just still trying to get the name out of there, like outside of Boston, you feel me? Like, gotcha. I feel like in Boston, like a lot of people know me, it's cool, but like we're trying to really branch out now, you know what gotcha. I mean? So so you don't have a team behind you doing all that, it's just like you straight up. I'm not going to lie, bro. Yeah. It's really just me doing everything yeah. that you see going on. Like, I have a couple people who's helping me with a couple things. Like, my boy Cody, like, he would help me put on shows and stuff like that when I have my shows. Mm-hmm. Like, he would help me put those shows on or, like, you know, find, like, other artists for me to work with. Or, you know what I'm saying? Pull up to the studio, stuff like that. But, like, in terms of, like, you know, everything you see going on, like, mm-hmm. that's, like, me. Damn. Where do you find the time? Because you do have a day job. I do have a day we'll, job. We'll get into yeah. that later. <laughs> exactly. So you can so, see how busy my life be, bro. Yo, that's crazy. I'm talking to a lot of people. I got to be here. I got to be here. Yeah. You know, like, I still got a family. You feel me? Like, it's a yeah. lot of... I got. I feel like I'm being pulled from a lot of different places. So, it. yeah, my life be kind of hectic. I'm not going to lie. But it's fulfilling, though. Like, I use the music as, like, my getaway. You feel me? That's what I use to get away. So, I'm in the studio. I'm away from all the madness, you know, that goes on, bro. Mm-hmm. And I'm, like, performing. I'm, like, for those 15, 20 minutes, I'm not thinking about nothing I got going on. No yeah. stress, no nothing. For those 15, 20 minutes, because I'm up here performing in front of a crowd. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, like, the getaway. Like, you know? Yeah, that's a crazy balancing act. Because, like, you're a whole business. And you also have to do your regular day job to 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 keep the business propelled. Exactly, you know I mean? so, you're pretty much putting in mad of your money. Again, that's that's another business you know, thing, you guys. He's putting in his money into his other business, so he actually has a job. Invested. And then when his business actually blows up, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. He's just like, yo, I'm gonna keep doing this job, or you're like, yo, I'm making enough where I can just do something else. And I feel like I got a good product. You feel me? Yeah, the product is good. You feel me? For a fact. But you know, with anything you got going on in business, the 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 plan got to be right. Everything just got to be 
perfect. Like, mm-hmm. not perfect. And you need a little bit of luck. You feel me? Like, yeah. So, I Definitely. feel like if I keep doing the things that I'm doing, like, dedicating myself and putting in all these hours and making the right moves, that this is going to pay off for me. Like, I genuinely believe that in my Definitely. thought, in my okay. head. So, if you don't believe that, like, why are you doing it? You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and it's fulfilling, bro. It feels good. Yo, I want to tell y'all to go check out. It's my favorite song of yours. Uh-huh. Um, Fenty. Second, Fenty. Second favorite song of yours, Fenty. I don't know what, what album is that on, so everybody can go check Fenty it out. Fenty is on... Don't Blink. Don't Blink. Don't Blink. Yo, go check that album out. Definitely go check that song out. 2018. Mm-hmm. Yo, by so far, my, my <laughs> favorite song of his. I think that's the one you showed me, no? Um, was it? Was it like one of the first songs you recorded or not? Yeah, it's 2018. So it's, it's, it's yeah. like Bro, this, it's nice. That was yeah. like my second album, probably. And um, what's it called? I think it's Summertime with Mark V. Summertime? That's a I think throwback. That one... <laughs> That's yo. He's gonna he's tell him the album yo, that was on. That was P- fire. That even that wasn't even on an album. That was just like a single. Summertime was a single. Ah, damn. Is but it like, like he's circuit? saying songs like that, like old as hell. Like only someone who like rocks with me, like yeah. know me, would know. Like a lot of my fans, like a lot of these people <laughs> don't even know what the hell you're talking yo. about. Yo, some of them know Fenty, but like summertime, they probably don't know that. Like that's that like, one is fire. Through two throwback for them, man. And there's a um, love sick. You know, I love love sick. I said that, that to that you all the time. Dropped. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you did. I mean, you probably do. You have to pay because it's not really your beat. Yeah, you yeah, it wasn't really my beat, remix. and I remixed it. I was I was wanting to drop it, bro. But I just didn't think it was hard enough, bro. That <laughs> one's that one's a top one. He just, just he bars, loves bro. Himself, bro. Just bars, he, bro. I didn't think it was hard enough. And I think it was time. just like a minute long. But you yeah. said you don't think it was hard enough, bro. I did not. I'd be bro, in my relax. head, bro. With certain songs, I'd be in my head like, ah, oh, this is not hard enough. And these are remakes, though. So it don't yeah, really matter, so I could have just dropped bro. it. Now, now I just be dropping because like. Fuck it. Like, some people gonna love it. Some people are not. Like that's what anything in life. So you yeah. just gotta yeah. say fuck it. Like yeah. do what you gotta do. You sure. I mean? How do you feel like um, tech could help out being a rapper? Like, are you scared the AI stuff is gonna like the AI end stuff up? is kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. I don't mm-hmm. like it really too much. You feel me? It's cool because you could like emulate certain people and sounds, but if it's not used in the right way, bro, like it could get weird, bro. Mm-hmm. You know. But I feel like tech, 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 and music is like hand in hand, kind of. I feel like you know, there's a lot of streaming platforms. That's tech. You feel me? Yeah. Ways to put artists out there in the in the limelight in front of people. That's yeah. tech. You know, there's certain apps that you could use. You know, to see how your music is growing or which cities people are listening to. Like that's, that's yeah. tech. That's you feel me? Word. So I feel like is there any apps hand. specifically outside of like the mainstream ones? Everybody knows like streaming services. I don't feel like everybody knows actually how to use the AI stuff, but mm-hmm. like. What's um, some stuff that you use that you feel like, oh, other people don't really use this, like, tech thing in a specific way? Um, They don't utilize this. I don't know. I can't say, bro. I feel like with my music, I don't really do too much in terms of, like, putting it out there. It's just record it, upload it type situation. I do want to get into more, like, certain text, like, apps and situations that help you gauge, like, exactly which audience is listening to your music. So, like, Apple Mm -hmm. Music, for example, they tell you, like, Oh, your music's being listened to in th- this amount of countries and, and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I feel like there's a better way to like focus in on it. Like who's listening to my music in which cities or like, you know, gotcha. so you could go there and perform because, you know, at least 60 people here are, are listening to my music, you yeah. know? Maybe. So like, that's how I feel like it could help. I just don't know how exactly to get over that threshold, but for sure. Yeah. You probably got to get in touch with more like salespeople, I guess. Yeah. Because they could probably tell you like. Like, Out of like, if it's a hundred people that listen to your stuff, what's the percentage of those people actually coming to right, your show? That's if like you go all there? marketing stuff too, yeah, marketing yeah, yeah. and planning. Like this, like music, like being a musician is not easy, bro. Like, if you got good, great music, like that's not enough, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, who knows you? Yeah, right? you, yeah, 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 yeah. you got good, great that's music. Who knows you? Like, and why should we know you? You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's like, I'm, I, I'm admit, like that's really what I'm focused on right now is just figuring out like getting more people to know me and like not just getting more people to know me but like genuinely fucking what me who I am as a person what I got going on mm-hmm. you feel me not like faking it like gotta act like this person to get these type of fans like gotcha. that's just never what I've been about yes. and I feel like that's what's taking a that's while weird. cause I, I feel like I'm, I'm genuine I'm me every room I walk into you feel me mm-hmm. I'm Chiss Cobble every room I walk into I'm Charlie every room I walk into like people know who I am whether it's music or whatever I do in life, it's never conflicting where it's like, oh, he's like this or here, but, you know? It's yeah. like he's the same person everyone who walks into. Yeah, so yeah, I feel cool. like that's what's taking a little while, but it's more organic and it's more genuine like that. So 
that's okay. just how we're doing it. That's just what I'm not compromising. Got you. That's what's up. Um, how do you? Well, so you don't use AI? No AI. No. And none, none of yeah. your stuff. All right. Um, so it's all you. Is that frowned upon in the industry? I'm assuming. Are you like confusing AI with like auto tune or something? No, no, no. Nah. I'm not. No, nah, literally like AI where the people are like, oh yeah, Michael Jackson made this song. Yeah, yeah. That's but it's weird, an AI, bro. Michael Jackson. It's like, yo, it, it's come definitely on, bro. frowned upon. Artists don't even want like no AI using their voice to make new songs. That's, that's weird. weird, bro. Yeah, it is weird. That's yeah. not your voice. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's less emotion too. Yeah, and it's the, cool, like, you know, it's cool, like, oh, what would Drake sound like if he did that? Yeah, but like it's dude. weird though. Yeah. Like at the end it's like that's not what he wrote, and you're using his voice. Like that could get misconstrued with people. Like, oh, he said this. It's like he never really even said this. Yeah, so now you're looking yeah. at him as someone who's who he's really not because of this that, AI thing. Yeah. You know, he has no control of who could use AI or who could do that or not. So I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's cool at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stay away from the AI. Do you um <laughs> ever think about doing shows at company? holidays hell yeah if they got a little budget for me not mm-hmm. a little budget but a good budget for me yeah i'm definitely down man i perform anywhere as long as the situation's right okay would yeah. you do it on zoom nah, nah because no. the company i work at zoom no more. they brought a um a comedian in and they were on zoom that's probably cool through zoom but i feel like performing it's just gonna lag it's gonna oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna have, lag a little bit if you have a, a board you know what i'm saying you could get the sound to sound clear or you can play the song or yeah. something like that. I don't know if I perform yeah, it though. Perform, perform, like, yeah. perform would be a little weird through yeah. camera. I mean, we could do it. We could kind of do it with this setup. We just need a um, Ethernet cable yeah. to connect it yeah. directly to the internet, so and it'll like, actually be a live feed. Just like how like oh, so be, like how I'm doing it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see what you're saying. Similar to how um, people are all right, doing so it'll stuff be like online. an actual hookup instead of like yeah. instead of the um, laptop. Or yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then you have the whole setup like this. Yeah. Would you do that? I mean, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, the situation's right. Yeah, because I feel like they probably got bread. Those companies, right. they're like, they got millions of dollars that's in their budget. They're going to have a holiday party, like if a Christmas party hear, like, or something. Little, you know, some... Ra- yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Shit, let's do it. Yo, reach out. That's reach probably, out. Like, yeah, reach out I'm, people. I'm, I don't yeah, know. If- and I'm trying to do, like, other shit, too, where it's like, I'm trying to really, like, make soundtrack music for, like, 2K or, like, certain, like, commercials or, like, certain movies and shit like that. Like, that's... I'm trying to, like, think about it differently. Like, yeah, I want a song to pop off and, you know, be viral and shit. Like, but there's so many other ways to, like, make money through your music. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. So... Yeah, that's a big thing, too. Like, you don't only just have to make music, drop an album, and then go on tour. You could, like... you. Technically, like own sound, I guess, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you can upload your music so whenever it's yeah. played on like a movie or a TV yep. show, you get getting paid. Yeah. That's, so that's it's played on the radio, you get paid. That's what I wanted that's to do. Anyway, yeah. There's a there's a website for it. Like I started it, but I didn't have the gears. Mm-hmm. So now I have the gears. I, I could like make like uh, loops Even with and the stuff. Piano, you could make yeah. certain loops and yeah. send it in. Send it, yeah. You mm-hmm. get paid when they use it. That's, that's why I, I still want to do. I might I might even go. Bro, back. there's people. Like, right now, the producing game is kind of weird right now. I wouldn't say it's weird, but, like, there's people who just, like, would make the loop for the piano, yep. send it to somebody, and then they do the drums, send it yep. to somebody, and then they do this, yep. send it to somebody. Now it's like, you got six people on a beat. Yep. <laughs> like, yep. How am I splitting this? You yep. know what I'm saying? That's why it'd be kind of weird now with the with the whole, like, producing shit now. It's yeah. like, you really want to focus on somebody that you know who really cook up and do mm-hmm. it all instead of trying to, like, take little stuff from different Thanks. people and put it together, you know? I used to make beats, too, and I lied to you, bro. Way back, yeah. when, he, when he first uh, showed me to you, bro, he was like, hey, bro, just send your beats to him and stuff. Like, I, I was sending him beats. I don't know if he sent it to you, but yeah. I don't remember. Maybe nah, he might have nah, said something. Nah, I, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I sent I don't remember that, though. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, that, none that, of that was way back then, though. <laughs> I only had a laptop. I said none of them, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Be honest. I don't know. Yo, there's a person. They know of you. They know you. You don't know them because they played. <laughs> They went to like the charter schools. Uh-huh. So of course you were one of the tallest people there. They yeah, don't know say you, like. tallest. I was one of the <laughs> nicest people in school. Don't say tall like, like oh he was just tall. No, nah, I was. No, nah, nice. like, you was getting buckets. Yeah, no, he nice. he admitted like yo yeah, <laughs> yo, their big man. He was like yo, their big man stood no chance, no chance. bro. No, no chance. <laughs> like it was bad. He said that game. Like every time they pulled up, like against y'all, he was like, "Yeah, they knew they was getting slaughtered, bro." Every time, every time, because he was like, "Yo, <laughs> their big man can't." Every time, can't hold a candle to him. But anyway, <laughs> he made um he made a snippet. He been making beats, but he doesn't really he doesn't really rap. Mm-hmm. He just does beats for fun, and he dropped a snippet. I want you to hear it. It sounds fire. Too. It sounds fire. Like he did some drill thing, but he's really just like. 
not he's really the nicest person that you'll ever see <laughs> but he did some drill songs like yo this sound like every drill rapper and it was just like a I think it was like a 15 second mm-hmm. snippet I was like yo this sound fire bro yeah yeah but you know I stay away from the drill like I, I respect it it's cool but I stay away from the drill music I feel mm-hmm. like everybody's doing it it's so Facts. easy to make. I feel like it's microwave music Facts. Okay. go in there say you shot somebody you spin it on one of those like Facts. little beats and that's it like that's why Yo, it's That's whack, something that everybody could do. It sounds But some of them cool, shits be having... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. Some not shits be having <laughs> for it at all. I am not a tough guy. Nothing. Nah, some of them shits be having you but, in your bag. But like... Yeah. It's just like, bro, this shit did not happen, gang. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I, it I definitely to, did it, but when bro, they, I'm not buying that there's that many shooters on earth, bro. I'm yeah, not buying it, bro. Yeah, exactly, I'm not exactly, buying exactly. that shit, bro. What, what were you going to say? No, I was saying, I, I used to listen to UK Drill, because you know that's where it came from. That shit's fire. That shit's fire. I fuck with that. They actually that. say shit. Yeah, oh, they, they bro, actually rap. UK rap is tough. You listen yes. to Central C? Nah. Bro, I've been bumping him lately, bro. Yo. That nigga is tough, yeah, bro. You got, you got him, you got RV. That nigga is Yo. tough. I, way before uh, Pop Smoke came out with that with the with the song, mm-hmm. I was listening to that like way before. I was showing niggas that shit. Niggas that UK drill shit. Yeah. yeah, and then as soon as uh, Pop Smoke came out with his song, everybody thought it was fire. I'm like, nigga, he didn't invent that shit. I've been listening to that. But yeah, yeah that shit. Yeah, that shit. I feel like that's just easy to wait, do. Wait, Microwave. But are they dancing do. in it though? That's what gets yeah, me. Do, I do, like, yeah, yeah, why yeah. they make this demon thing look so fun, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like. They talking about the worst things no, in the facts, world. Facts, and they facts, dancing facts, on it like, facts, like, facts, like yo, what? Facts, facts, facts. Like that looks so funny. But they don't. They most of the time they're not dancing. Like, like, that like, looks so funny. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> terrible. And I'm 28, so I could only imagine a teenager listening to this. Yo, like yo, real, this is real. I'm like we was listening to I, when we were growing up, bro. We was at least we know it's not real now. Right. Like we're just like, all right, they just. <laughs> but a 16 year old, yeah, they really going to kill people, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, you know, and I'm, I'm a big believer, like, what you say is, like, super important. Like, you know, like, that. the power of the tongue. Like, mm-hmm. you know, things that you talk about, things that you say, like, I feel like that shit, like, happens to you. It's fate. You know, you're just talking your life. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It might be confusing, but I really feel, like, <laughs> power of the tongue, bro. You got to watch what you're saying, you yeah, know, fact. certain yeah, messages that you're, you know, that you're letting out in the world. Mm-hmm. Even though you seen it as a joke, but they they probably gonna see that shit like yo right. he does. Oh, they, yeah, for real. Yep. It's for real. You know what I'm saying? Do this shit, Absolutely. Bro. That shit sound hard, bro. Yeah. 